we have a very good reason to unite today, as today is a big day for Wildcott School. After almost 10 years of existence, Wildcott School joins forces with three other European boot camps. Neue Fischer spiced from Germany and sold from Sweden. So today is the big day because I'm announcing this <laughs> to all of you and then we'll start communicating uh, and that will be official. Um, I'm very happy to have Dalia Das there next to me. She will join me on stage. Dalia is the CEO of Neue Fischer and Spice. So she came from Germany so that we can announce the, uh, the, the creation of uh, the future group together. And I will pass her the microphone soon. <laughs> um, collectively, we launch the future group. This is a consortium of European bootcamps that share a common goal of training better and more tech professionals and helping companies to get access to a wider pool of technical talent. Collectively, we are the biggest and most powerful European tech platform for lifelong learning with almost 3,000 students trained per year today across Europe. A whole world of new opportunities opens up at the European level as companies still lack technical talent and it is still one of the main roadblocks for their growth. When I created Wildcode School 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, it was easier to find an investor to finance a startup than to build a strong technical team. Today, we train at Wildcode School per year more than 1,500 web developers, but also data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, web designers, product managers, and other professionals in tech. And 80% or more of them actually find jobs within just a few months of after graduation. Besides all those thousands of extra tech professionals that different bootcamps have trained over the past decade, because we are one of the first bootcamps in France and in Europe, 2013 was the year when bootcamps actually appeared in Europe. Bootcamps meaning a short professional learning by doing training close to the needs of companies. So after a decade of uh, bootcamps, the same st observation still holds true. It is still easier to find an investor to finance a startup than to build a strong technical team. So it is still the case. So within the new Future Group Consortium, Wildcode School, together with its new partners, we still have a lot of work to do in order to support innovative European tech companies. Bringing the IT talent gap at the European level is our bridging the IT talent gap at the European level is our primary goal. I'm very pleased to see some of our partners that join us in this journey. And we are very happy to support their hiring efforts as we work with SNCF, for example, this year, training about 100 of the employees uh, and many other companies, actually. A new chapter opens up for Wildcood School, now as part of Future Group. Before we share with you some of our plans for the future, allow me to go back for a moment to recall the journey that we have gone through already and also to thank those who have been instrumental in over this journey and who are here with us today. There are here a few friends from the very early days, Eric Girard the, and Laure de la Rodière, who have witnessed and supported Wildcode School even before it was launched. A group of business angels who made a small but critical financial contribution five years ago that allowed Wildcood School to deploy its model across France. Let me thank here in particular Veronique Lano, who is present, and Yassine, who was meant to be there as well, who were part of the board for several years and were generous with their time and advice.
Then we got lucky to gain trust and some money from Alta Equity, uh, our first big investor with a focus on impact. Fanny Picard, Marianne Simeoni, and Gilles Geoffroy, who are here today, accompanied us over the past four years and with their guidance and advice helped us pursue our expansion across Europe. We are in the business of teaching. Teaching is not like other businesses. Helping people to change their lives and careers is so emotionally intense and fundamentally rewarding. It is essentially a collective project where all our employees and team members play such an important role. And we are so lucky to have wonderful and dedicated people at Wildcourt School who share the same values. They are passionate about teaching and technology. They innovate on a daily basis and they all are caring and collectively bring in the human touch to the tech world. I would love to be able to thank here everyone of our around 150 employees and team members. 30 of them are present here today. But you don't want me to do this because that will take a little bit of time. So I will just say thank you all, dear Wilders, and for your trust, engagement, and efforts. This is your project that we are celebrating here today. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Anna, for inviting me. Hello, everybody. As Anna said, um, I'm the other female founder in the group. So I'm Dahlia. I founded um, a company called Neufisch. This is New Fish, actually. New Fish for the Empty Talent Pond. That is why I created the name. You probably also had something in mind when you named your school White Cold School. Um, Actually, I'm interested in that. Um, so I called it Neue Fisch um, because I wanted to create more talent to the empty uh, talent pool, of course. And um, so when I started that, I was inspired by the US, who have always been more open to, like, you know, seeking for talent outside the box. Um, but then when I found in 2018, I already saw um, White Cold School, for example, here in Europe, but being very concentrated on France. And there was actually almost no one doing it in Germany. But I faced, hey, we all have the same problem and someone has to take care about the solution. So this is why I founded eventually um, this uh, company. And over time, I figured that um, living in a European world facing all the same um, issues when it comes to digital skills gap. Yeah, we all have local local personalities, so to speak, um, but, but then we have so many things in common and sometimes also problems in common that maybe um, a solution for the problem should also be more than just a country solution. And I mean, you already operate in a little bit more than one country, um, but I thought, uh, I found the idea of creating a group who can actually learn from each other, um, work cross-country, bring learnings in. Also, when it comes to employers, many of our uh, hiring partners operate cross-borders. So why not to partner up with some other schools who share the same values, um, the sh same mission, and uh, produce good student outcome? Because that is, in alternative education, I think the, the most important thing, we should be focused on student outcome. And so there's many institutions out there, at least in Germany, not so familiar in France, who lose focus and who not put student outcome first. And with Anna and White Cold School, I've met someone who puts that first, which made her um, yeah, a perfect partner also for, 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 for kind of creating a group. And um, yeah, you will hear about Richard also uh, in, in the Scandinavian territory, different different model, but same thing. Student outcome, first, we're life changers. You all of here, um, as I understand, are also life changers because uh, you contributed to Anna's company, to Anna's school. Um, you're contributing to the students um, with either money or teaching and uh, everything. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy that we are now this group, Anna. <laughs> and um, I'm also very happy that... Uh, I met another female founder in the space. It's really common, uh, not not so common. And um, by this, we also maybe we the two of us especially also bring some diversity into the tech world, which is also an aspect to 
uh, to, to have in mind. Uh, it's, it's important um, and it is part of the solution. We will only, across Europe, and I'm a big believer in that, we will only solve the problem with diversity. Not only gender diversity, but also including everyone from a different background, from a different professional background, to make him part of the digital movement. And with this, I would like to conclude. I think we will hear a lot of more interesting things on the panel, more French specific, um, but thank you for, <laughs> and especially also in French language, so I get a translate. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't uh, speak that much. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for having me, Anna. Thanks for having me, everyone here in the room. And I'm happy to share more of my insights or my personal view afterwards with drinks and food. Um, and I leave the stage to Anna again. Thank you very much, Dalia. I'm also very happy to meet another female founder <laughs> so that we are collectively together, very strong, I think, uh, for bringing more women into the tech world across uh, Germany and France. And we have a third founder with us. He couldn't be here in person, unfortunately. He, uh, he lives in Sweden. And he asked me to say just a few words. Um, so let me just, uh, so he's Richard. Uh, the CEO of Sold, the, the, the other, another bootcamp who is part of uh, the group. Um, and uh, he's very much looking forward to embarking on this journey together with me and Dalia. And uh, Sold is proud to be partners in Future Group together with us as founders and our skilled teams. So, so he, he's with us, thinking about us. <laughs>